In today's smartphone-dominated world, the paradox of feeling undervalued and isolated prevails. It's like our voices echo into an endless digital space, longing for recognition and appreciation from our loved ones. But what happens when our attempts at connection go unanswered and our presence in others' lives feels more like a convenience than a necessity? In moments of reflection, the ancient wisdom of Stoicism, shared by Marcus Aurelius, becomes a guiding light. He stresses that our true value comes from within. The challenge is to apply this timeless philosophy to our daily lives, genuinely improving our worth in relationships. This presentation will guide you through practical strategies rooted in Stoic principles, emphasizing authenticity and depth in building connections. Remember, the company you keep reflects your identity, and Stoicism teaches us to be indispensable, not by being needy, but by offering genuine value. Let's explore the art of weaving Stoic philosophy into our daily lives, cultivating connections that are not only deep, but also authentic and fulfilling. Chapter 1. Cultivate Your Unique Presence Have you ever found the moon captivating, especially when it's not full? Similarly, each night presents a choice. To increase how others see us, the first step is to create a sense of rarity in our presence. Inspired by Stoic philosophy, this practice reminds us that we're not endless resources. In today's busy world, our time and attention are as valuable as gold dust. Imagine this, you could always say yes, always be there for others. But what does that convey? It loudly says, I'm always available turning you into a convenience store instead of a treasure. Now, shift your perspective. Envision yourself as a rare book in a library, accessible but not always on display. Let people feel your absence. This isn't about playing hard to get. It's about genuinely valuing your time. Marcus Aurelius, known for his wisdom, hinted at this, saying, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Here, the focus is on valuing yourself internally before seeking external validation. Achieving this practice requires a delicate balance. It doesn't mean being distant or cold, but fostering a healthy self-respect. By responding selectively rather than instantly, you convey, I value my time, and I hope you do too. This doesn't mean ignoring people. It means engaging thoughtfully. Make your yes more powerful by not hesitating to say no. Your presence and attention should be seen as a gift, not an expectation. Embrace this practice. See yourself as a rare comet, not just another star. Recognize that your time and attention are priceless. Invest them wisely. As you do, you'll notice a change. People will begin to appreciate your presence more because it's not assumed. It's a gift. This is the start of being more valued by first acknowledging your own worth. Treat your time as a hidden treasure, knowing it's the one thing you can't create more of. Chapter 2. Embrace Selective Availability Stoicism isn't about always saying no. It's about making sure your yes aligns with what truly matters to you. Imagine your day as a canvas, and your time is the paint. Would you let everyone else decide how to paint your life, or would you take charge and decide what's important? Saying no sometimes is like setting boundaries. Think of these boundaries as riverbanks guiding your time and energy where it really counts. By not always being available, you teach others to appreciate the time they spend with you. It's like being a rare book in a library. People seek and value you. Your time becomes a gift, not something people expect. This is about living by stoic principles, mastering yourself by managing your time wisely. Think of your time as a precious gem. Each moment you share is like giving away a piece of this gem. If you give pieces to everyone, you'll have nothing left for yourself. 
It's not about being a hermit. It's about choosing where your time matters most. Let's keep going on this journey to becoming more valuable and a priority for others. Chapter 3. Maintaining a Sense of Mystery The enigmatic practice of embracing mystery is like a silent spider weaving its unseen web. Stoicism, deeply rooted in ancient wisdom, offers keys to this art. It's not about hiding in shadows, but choosing when to step into the light. Picture your life as a novel unfolding, each chapter enticing the reader. Share your story, but keep enough back to spark curiosity, like giving a map with treasures marked, but paths undisclosed. This creates a journey where each interaction peels back layers, revealing more depth to who you are. Stoicism teaches the power of the internal compass, guiding with whispers like, he who reigns within himself is more than a king. It's not about building walls, but choosing gates for others to enter. By regulating personal revelations, you create an environment where your presence becomes rare and valued. It's a dance between known and unknown, a deliberate choice, not a reckless stumble. Remember, mystery isn't for manipulation, but a strategy for self-respect. It's about knowing your worth and not pouring it out like water to those who may not appreciate its depth. In a world demanding transparency, choosing what to reveal is a testament to self-worth. This approach makes others value you and leads you to value yourself. The most profound mystery is how much more there is to you than meets the eye. Picture standing at a crossroads, one path to solitary self-reliance, the other to mutual growth. Chapter 4. Allowing Others to Invest in You Allowing others to invest in you is a subtle art, not rooted in self-importance, but in enriching lives mutually. Seneca, with timeless wisdom, found joy in tasks that contribute. Opening yourself to aid and advice isn't weakness, but an invitation to shared strength. It's more than accepting help. It's about creating a space where others feel their contributions are valuable. Picture it as a garden. You're the gardener, inviting others to plant seeds of wisdom and kindness. Each planted seed helps your garden flourish, and contributors feel joy seeing their contributions bloom. This mutual growth builds deeper connections and respect, creating a cycle of giving and receiving. Your openness becomes a magnet, attracting those valuing genuine connections and mutual growth. In daily life, it's in simple moments, accepting a colleague's help, acknowledging a friend's advice, or being open to different perspectives. Each act is a step towards a more interconnected existence. You're not a solitary figure, you're part of a tapestry woven with shared experiences and mutual support. As a modern Stoic, embrace this interdependence with grace and gratitude and witness the world opening its arms to you. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, what is good for the hive is good for the bee. Your growth and their investment aren't just intertwined, they are the essence of a valued and meaningful life. Chapter 5. Prioritize your own needs. Prioritizing your needs isn't selfish, it's necessary. Imagine you're on a plane and the oxygen masks drop down. You're told to put yours on first before assisting others, right? This principle extends beyond air travel. It's a life principle. Stoicism, a practical philosophy today, as in ancient times, echoes this sentiment. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, stated, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. It's not about hoarding resources, but recognizing that meeting your fundamental needs is the first step to being a source of strength for others. Prioritizing your needs doesn't mean turning your back on others. It's about building personal strength and stability. Envision your life as a garden. If you don't tend to your plants first, how can you share their beauty and shade? 
your needs, rest, personal growth, emotional nourishment, are the water and sunlight for your garden. Nurturing yourself ensures the energy, patience and resources to be present and supportive for others. It's not about isolation, but creating a balance where well-being isn't constantly sacrificed. Acting on your priorities demands more than recognition. It requires action. As Marcus Aurelius advised, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Make tough choices, set boundaries, and sometimes say no. It's not the easiest path, but it leads to true respect and self-worth. Consistently aligning with your needs and values makes you a pillar of authenticity and integrity. People naturally gravitate towards those grounded and self-assured. Start today, prioritize your needs, and watch as the world values you in profound ways. Chapter 6. Avoid centering your life around others. In the intricate maze of life, we often lose sight of our internal compass, relying on others for guidance. Stoicism, a philosophy of empowerment, encourages us to reclaim control over our narrative. The practice of not making others the focal point of our lives isn't about isolation. It's a journey toward authentic self-valuation. Imagine yourself as the captain of a ship navigating life's vast ocean. Other ships may sail beside you, and some may attempt to influence your course, but the wheel remains firmly in your hands. Seneca's wisdom echoes this stoic principle. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. By not anchoring our worth in others' hands, we avoid unnecessary storms. Make decisions, set goals, and value your opinions with the confidence of a captain braving the seas. Now view your time and energy as precious currency. Would you spend it recklessly? Not making others the center of your life is an investment in this valuable currency. Engage in relationships and activities that enrich your soul and align with your values. It's about quality, not quantity. Your time is a gift. Share it with those who celebrate your essence, not with those who demand you fit their mold. Learn the art of selective attention. In a world filled with opinions and judgments, focus on what truly matters, your growth, peace and journey. This doesn't mean ignoring the world, but choosing not to let it dictate your self-worth. The more you concentrate on honing your strengths and pursuing your passions, the less you'll seek external validation. Remember, you are the sculptor of your life statue. Chisel away with intention, listening to your inner voice and vision. As you practice these stoic principles, you not only become more valued by others, but, more importantly, cultivate profound respect and love for yourself. This journey isn't about disregarding others. It's about finding your unique rhythm in the symphony of life. Chapter 7. Stop initiating each dialogue. Shifting focus from talking to listening can be transformative. Rooted in Stoic philosophy, this practice urges restraint in initiating conversations, emphasizing the power of silence and attentive listening. By not always being the first to speak, you create space for others, fostering deeper connections and showcasing qualities like maturity and genuine interest, which are rare and valued. It's not about being passive, but purposefully present. This practice not only enhances relationships, but also enriches your understanding of people and the world. Today, we've explored seven transformative Stoic practices, each a stepping stone toward being more valued and respected. Embrace these practices. Be fearless, patient, selectively available, mysterious, and open to others' contributions. Prioritize your well-being and independence. It's not about chasing validation, but finding a harmonious balance. These aren't just tips. They're tools for life, shaping how others see you and how you see yourself. Strong, respected, valued. Take these lessons 
integrate them and watch the transformation unfold. You're not just improving relationships, you're evolving as a person. And remember, this is just the beginning. Stoicism holds a world of wisdom waiting for you to discover and make your own. Thank you for joining me on this philosophical exploration. Remember the key to a Stoic life is not just in knowing, but in doing. Seize the day, stay resilient, and may your path be filled with wisdom and virtue. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who may benefit from the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. Until next time, stay Stoic, stay strong.